Once you have planned your trip and have your payment ready, it's time to catch the bus. When walking or biking to the bus stop, dress appropriately for the weather and give yourself enough time to be there five minutes early. Once you reach the bus stop, stay back from the street and do not block the sidewalk. When you see your bus, move towards the street edge and wait next to the bus stop sign. When the bus stops, check to see if anyone is getting off the front of the bus. If someone is getting off the bus, let them off first before you board. If you biked to the bus stop, wait for the bus to stop completely before using the bike rack located at the front of the bus. If the bike rack is not currently in use, squeeze the handle to lower the rack. To load your bike, lift the back wheel first and roll the bike back as you lift your front wheel into the bike rack. Use an empty rack closest to the bus and securely place the support arm over the bike's front wheel. When you board the bus, place your coins in the coin slot, the ticket in the ticket slot, or show the transit operator your transit pass or transfer. If you have difficulties with the height of the bus, you can ask the transit operator to lower the bus. All buses and ferries are wheelchair accessible. Transit operators will lower the ramp for wheelchair users to board. When moving to a seat, keep your hand on the top rail to steady yourself once the bus begins to move. If there are no seats available, hold onto the handrails or support straps at all times. Seats in this area lift up to allow the transit operator to secure wheelchairs. You will need to move from these seats if the space is needed to secure a wheelchair or stroller. If you see someone boarding who is pregnant, is a senior citizen, or has a mobility issue, offer them your seat and move to the next available seat or standing position on the bus. You are not allowed to eat or drink while on the bus or put your feet on bus seats. This helps to keep the bus clean and comfortable for everyone. Please keep music and conversations with friends or on the phone quiet and respectful. When you see or hear your stop approaching, pull the yellow cord or push the stop button to signal to the transit operator that you would like to get off. You will hear a bell and see the stop request signal light up. Remain seated until the bus comes to a stop. Once the bus stops, exit through one of the back doors. By using the back doors, you allow people to quickly board the bus. If you have mobility issues, please use the exit closest to you. If you brought your bike, exit by the front door and let the operator know you'll be removing your bike. Remove the stability arm. If there are no other bikes on the rack, pull the lever and place the empty rack upright against the front of the bus. To use Halifax Transit's ferries, visit one of the three ferry terminals. You can pay for the ferry with coins, tickets, or by showing your transit pass or transfer at the ticket booth. When the ferry is ready for boarding, you will hear a buzzer and the boarding light will turn from red to green. Please walk carefully down the ramp to the ferry as it may be slippery. Inside the ferry, you will find seats and bike racks. Please secure your bike in the racks. If all of the racks are full, you will need to exit the ferry and wait for the next one. There is more seating on the top deck, but bikes must remain on the first floor. Do not put your feet up on the seats and keep conversations on the phone or with friends quiet and respectful. When the ferry stops, wait until the crew has lowered the ferry ramp and the light above the exit door turns green before entering the terminal. Carefully head up the ramp and exit through the doors. If you have further questions about using Halifax Transit, you can ask for help from transit operators, municipal staff at our customer service locations, librarians, or by calling 311.